What's going on boys and girls, what's up Well, This is Carlos from England and you're watching Austin John Plays. Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be going over the top 12 rarest dishes in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Some of these require very rare ingredients or just a very specific list of ingredients. And this list is going to be in order of easiest and most common to the rarest dishes. With over 200 hours in this game, there's still many dishes I've never cooked or even heard of. And today, I'm gonna to be going over the top 12 rarest dishes that you probably never seen or cooked either. You may have done some of them, but not all 12. So let's begin. Number 12 is monster curry. Curry dishes are very easy to make. You just need Hylian rice, Goron spice, and a meat or poultry of your choice. You could even make seafood curry with a porgy or blue shell snail and a vegetable curry with a carrot or pumpkin. But you could also make it with monster extract. This can only be obtained a very limited number of places in the world, but it could be bought from Kilton for Mon, a currency that he made up to bring down the establishment. Anyone who got Dark Link already pretty much knows about this creepy masked salesman. Number 11 is cream and mushroom soup. Cream and mushroom soup can be made with fresh milk, rock salt, any mushroom, and any vegetable or flour. There are variations such as creamy meat soup and creamy seafood soup, which you just need to replace the mushroom with your choice of protein. There are also vegetable variations that don't require any protein. Number 10 is a crab omelet with rice. Crab omelet with rice is a four dish ingredient using Hylian rice, bird egg, rock salt, and any crab. It is one of the four dishes on this list with no variation of it. Now, there's omelets and there's rice dishes, but there's no omelet with a rice dish. Number nine is creamy heart soup. If you combine any radish, hydromelon, volt fruit, and fresh milk, you'll get yourself this unique dish with a big heart in it. Aww. Number eight is fruit cake. There's lots of cakes in this game, but this one is special as it takes a unique set of ingredients. It requires an apple or wild berry, plus another different type of fruit, tabantha wheat, and cane sugar. Fun fact, this is the most prioritized recipe that you can cook, so if you fulfill the requirements for this dish and another at the same time in the same cooking session, it's gonna cook this one, fruit cake. Makes you wonder what's in that fruit cake at Christmas. Number seven is pumpkin stew. This is a four ingredient dish requiring fresh milk, tabantha wheat, goat butter, and a fortified pumpkin. So it'll always come out as a tough recipe. It also has variations using any grade of meat or poultry. And there's another variation of monster stew. It requires any meat plus any seafood plus monster extract. Yum. Number six is nut cake. You're a nut cake. This unique cake requires any nut, which there's only two in the game, tabantha wheat, cane sugar, and goat butter. There's also a variation if you replace the nut for carrot, for carrot cake, or with an apple or pumpkin for apple pie or pumpkin pie, respectively. You can replace the nuts with a monster extract for monster cake. I believe you also need monster cake for a side quest in Tarrytown. Number five is a poultry pilaf dish. This can be cooked in regular prime or gourmet variations depending on the bird quality that you use. This requires you to use your poultry of choice, Hylian rice, bird egg, and goat butter. Number four is clam chowder. This is our first dish that requires four exact ingredients with no substitutes or variations. This requires fresh milk, tabantha wheat, goat butter, and a hearty blue shell snail. Blue shell snails can be a little tricky to get your hands on. I actually had to buy the compendium picture and set it to track one to find it. Number three is copious simmered fruit. This is a silly dish that happens when you combine four different fruits. So I put it high up on this list because in order to make it, you need four different fruits with effects that cancel each other out. So you're probably never ever gonna make it. You also get something similar for combining four different types of mushrooms, fish, or vegetables. Number two is seafood paella. This delicious seafood dish requires five ingredients. Any porgy, as in any of the two, a hearty blue shell snail, Hylian rice, goat butter, and rock salt. If you combine these five ingredients, you get this rare dish. Now, before I go over number one, there's an honorable mention. It's salmon miniere. It's needed for a shrine quest in the Rito village and it requires tabantha wheat, goat butter, and a hearty salmon. I didn't realize that the mission tells you the ingredients and that the salmon can be found in the water next to the village, but uh, I spent about three hours looking for one of those damn salmon and cutting down grass to try to find the wheat. So yeah, lots of fun. Oh, and fun fact, you all know about how dropping food on the floor in Death Mountain cooks that food, 
but I learned if you drop an egg in a hot spring, it's gonna hard boil it. I tried that with many other ingredients and nothing, so it seems like it's a pretty unique thing that only the eggs can do. Which makes sense, because if you drop it on the floor, they just splats. Okay, time for number one, the rarest dish to cook in Breath of the Wild. It's honey crepes. Just say, I love crepes. Wait, are they the really thin pancakes? Eh. So what if you just said, I love really thin pancakes? That's right, really, really thin pancakes covered in honey. Honey crepes, although it's number 25 in cooking priority, it's the only dish that requires five unique ingredients with no substitutes. It requires fresh milk, bird eggs, tabantha wheat, cane sugar, and coarser bee honey. Of course, there's a variation with a wild berry crepe if you swap out the honey for a wild berry, or you could do it without honey or a berry for plain crepes, but who wants plain crepes? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the rarest 12 dishes in Breath of the Wild that you probably never cooked. Is there something I missed? Leave a comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Till next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.